Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has told us how the news reaches the gates of Iliyin of whoever is coming from this earth and they there in Iliyin are always saying to the angels who's coming, who's coming, who's coming and when they say it is Munawwar Hussein who's from E1 yeah whatever street that might be yeah, Munawwar Hussein in E1 in the heart of White Chapel is coming up. You know Munawwar Hussein's dad, his mom that went before, maybe his granddad and his great grandfather and his uncles. And now they come rushing forward. Is there any family members that come rushing forward to the entrance of the gate? They want to receive their child, their grandchild. And when he enters, he now realizes if he's a good soul only, if he's only a good soul, this happens. He now realizes that he's got a whole family out here. Not just the ones he's seen. He hasn't seen his great, great, great grandfather. Even he looks at him and they catch up on news. And his father, mother and others say to him, how's your sister? How's that son of yours? How is so-and-so? What about the other one? Did she get married? Has she, is she married yet? They catch up on news of this world. That's the first thing they do. But if it's a bad soul, then they go to Sijin and they don't see any families there whatsoever. And what a life that would be for a person to live, live in this world and to end up in Sijin. May Allah Azza wa Jal forgive us. May Allah protect us from going there. Say Ameen. So anyway, this is the fourth world. What happens in the fourth world? Well, guess what? You get comfortable again if you're in Aliyin. You get comfortable. You're with your family, the families that went before you. And now you're waiting for others to come from the world. You want your sister to come to the to, to Aliyin. You hope she gets to Aliyin. You pray she gets to Aliyin. That's why people on this earth, earth sometimes have dreams. How do you have a dream? How do you meet a person who's already gone? Well, the people in Aliyin, they make a request to Allah. Oh Allah, I'd like to see so-and-so of my family member in the world in a dream. If only Allah wills, they get, the, get the, they get the wish granted. So what happens? What happens is, subhanAllah, think of this, this is amazing. This is amazing and this happens every single night. What Allah has done is during the night, when you've gone to sleep tonight and I go to sleep tonight and last night and the night before that and every single night of my life, what Allah says in the Holy Quran in Surah Zumar, Surah number 39, I think it's ayah number 46. Allah says, Allahu yatawaffal anfusahina mawtiha wallati lam tamut fi manamiha. Allah catches souls twice, two times. Once when you're dead, he catches you and he takes you, transfers you to the next world. This is what I've just been talking about. And the second one where he catches you and he releases you and then he catches you and releases you and catches you and releases you and catches you and releases, takes you up and takes you back down, takes you up, takes you back down. For many, 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 many times is every time I go to sleep and every time you go to sleep. The Quran says, Wallati lam tamut fi manamiha. The one, the soul that hasn't died yet, who, who is in a state of sleep and a state of dreaming. And you, what happens is my soul goes up there, your soul goes up there. And sometimes you have a dream of someone on this earth. And that, why, how do you have it? Well, his soul or her soul got together with your soul. Sometimes it's your imagination. Okay, don't get me wrong. Don't like freak. God, don't like see someone tomorrow and just say, hey, 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 I was with you last night. Sister, I was with you last night. Come here. I've seen you. Sometimes it's your imagination. All right, guys, take it easy. Okay. So anyway, what happens is they, they go to a place. Alamul al ahlam. There's a world Allah has created, the, the world of dreams. Now every soul that has a true dream goes to that, to that world. And whoever is in Aliyin, if their request has been accepted, they also come to Aliyin and the two meet in that state. And this is so quick that it can happen like a blink of an eye. It can happen like a blink of an eye. That's how we see people who have passed away and we meet them in our dreams. Allahu Akbar. So anyway, if you want, you might think, well, that's some people dreams. Do we have anything physical? Some people say, where's the physical thing that for Barzakh and for the life beyond the fourth life? Well, let me tell you this. There's been many individuals in the, in the past that this has happened to. And it, it has happened again recently. With Imam Bukhari rahimahullah, when they buried his body in the grave, in his grave in Russia, in Bukhara, in Russia, he was a Russian. Imam Bukhari was a Russian. You understand guys? 
We need to tell Putin that Imam Bukhari was a Russian, Allahu Akbar. Anyway, he, when he was buried in his grave, there was a fragrance, a very strong fragrance of itr and of, of great, great fragrance of a nice smell coming strong, so strong that they never, they never smelled anything like this. So the people came to his grave straight after his janazah and they took soil from his grave. They took it home. This was like a whole piece of soil that's got this fragrance. You could rub it on your hands, you could rub it on your, on your body, on your skin and you've got really nice fragrance. So people then flocked to his grave for three days. Every day they would take soil handful of hands full of soil and then the ulama in his time they made dua to Allah they said oh Allah please stop this because the bid'ah is going to stop and they said oh Allah please take this fragrance away because we have to carry on refilling the grave every single day can you imagine otherwise they'll take all the soil from his grave on the third day it stopped this is a well-known piece about his life when he died Imam Bukhari rahimahullah and he's a very famous person that most of us are acquainted with Are you tired of all these annoying ads on YouTube? Are you worried that a haram video might pop up? Well, the One Islam TV app is here to solve these problems, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is 100% free of any ads and is safe to browse for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest or drive with your device switched off. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. Watch hundreds of high-quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets, and so much more. Two to four new videos uploaded daily, inshallah. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means a small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders. Insha'Allah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.